Hello my friendly shoppers and welcome back. This is Gina and this is my shopping life. I hope you're having a great day so far because we are back shopping at Trader Joe's. We're going to see what is new this week. I know a lot of the pumpkin items have kind of slowed down a bit, but let's see what else we could find. Now they brought in some more moms. We have the medium moms for $6.99. We have the smaller ones for $4.99. Still so pretty. And here's some more fall moms for $8.99. I'm not sure which exactly are $8.99, but those are all so pretty. We have some dry flowers over here for $3.99. Now, the succulent pumpkins last week was $6.99. I'm glad I picked one up because they jumped up to $9.99, but they're still really gorgeous really great plants right now but i always love checking this out the soups of course it's soup season with fall here the lobster bisque for 4.99 clam chowder for 4.99 we have the harvest chili the lentil soup tomato feta soup that's one of my favorites four dollars and fifty cents the pumpkin butternut squash bisque minestrone chicken soup we have our white bean chicken chili soup and of course our very green soup for $4.69. The cranberries have arrived. They're fresh, $2.30. I will definitely be picking up a couple of those. I do need some shredded carrots, $1.29. It saves me so much time. And even the squash right here, already cut up for $3.99. Now right next to it for only a dollar, the green onions. I haven't seen these here before. I'm glad I found these because I use green onions a lot. We have a couple of new items. We have the non-dairy coconut beverage for $2.99 or the non-dairy, the rice beverage. Both of them are organic. I tried this last week. It was really good. I think I mispronounced it. I said rose tea. It's actually a rosé tea. So I'm going to pick up another one for my daughter because she wants to try it. But this is new. Vanilla cardamom. I love the flavor of cardamom, so I'm definitely gonna pick this up and try it out. I don't drink too much iced coffee, but let's check it out. It's $5.50. I know my husband, he only drinks coffee cold, so he's excited to try it out. I didn't realize that cold brew coffee had so much potassium. So it's ready to drink, it's not concentrated. So I'm just gonna pour it in my cup. Now I'm gonna try it without any creamer or sugar. Normally I do add those to my coffee, but I just wanna try it on its own. One of the benefits to cold brew coffee is the low acidity, but it tastes really good just on its own, but I still prefer with a little cream and a little sugar. So I'm gonna add that to it. There we go. But the taste is really good. I really do enjoy this one. I love the flavor of cardamom and with a little vanilla, that is almost perfect. <laughs> Again, $5.50. The turkey bone broth, new, but no price yet. Now we did taste the cinnamon sugar cashews, $4.99. I'm gonna pick up another one, they're really good. I do need some bacon. A lot of times I'll pick it up at Costco, but I only need a small amount, so I'm gonna pick it up here. This one is really good, $6.49. The tiramisu. You could tell this is really popular, the Italian tiramisu. Now, I tried this last year. I cannot remember if I like this or not. So I'm gonna pick it up. Now, normally I love tiramisu. $4.50 for two of them. So I did let this sit in my fridge overnight because it is frozen when you first buy it. So there's two servings per container. So let's try it out. One of my favorite desserts. It's a little messy. <laughs> it definitely has a good layer of the mascarpone. 
it is definitely unique. And now I remember this wasn't my favorite when I tried it last year. My husband tried it as well and he wasn't a fan. So I'm going to save the other one for my daughter, but it wasn't for me. Let me know if you tried this one and what you thought of it. They still have a lot of the haunted house cookie kits left for $10. Fun for the kids. We found the passion fruit rounds. These are dried. And for only $2.99, nice little snack. The sparkling apple cider for $3.50. And the Huddy Crisp candle is here, $3.99. I'm looking for like paper towels and the toilet paper. I'm not finding it. So I will definitely ask. I'm not sure if they're not getting it in or if they've moved it, but the laundry detergent has anyone tried the Trader Joe's laundry detergent? $5.99 for the free and clear. The lavender one is much larger for $10.99. We found the turkey bone broth $3.49. It's always nice to see some of the returning items, including the mini pancake puffs with the chocolate chips for $3.99. I'm going to pick these up. I want to try it, but I know my daughter would love these. If you want them without the chocolate chips, they definitely have that for $3.49. So let's heat these up and try them out. They do look good. It's a fun little dessert. Wow, you get quite a few in here. So after eight minutes, you just heat them up in the oven. I'm going to try one without any like powdered sugar. Those are good. Those are nice and sweet. I added just a little bit of powdered sugar and of course if you have the Trader Joe's, the Midnight Moo, <laughs> the chocolate syrup. Not the fanciest but let's try them out. They're really good. My husband enjoyed them so this is a fun little treat. Yeah, my daughter is really gonna like those. Oh, the mini shrimp bows. I'm definitely picking up a couple of boxes because those are so good. I don't always see these. $4.99 for a box. All you have to do is just heat them up. They're so good. Oh, these are new. The emerald green. Now, this is the insulated bag. This is just a regular size. I'm going to pick this one up. It's $7.99. We did find the toilet paper and the paper towels. They just moved them. So paper towels, $3.99. The bath tissue, $4.99 or $3.99. Now the gluten-free baguette, $4.99. I want to try this one. So we're going to take it home. Now the shelf life, not very long because today's the 10th and I bought it on the 9th as well. Kind of shared some of the ingredients with you, but let's taste it. I have one with butter and one without butter. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think it's for me, honestly. It was just a little dry. Let me know if you tried it or what you think of it. Now, there are some gluten-free cookies I do want to try. It's a chocolate chunk cookies with a little bit of sea salt for $4.99. You can see the sea salt. So we're going to try these as well. I do want to share some of the ingredients with you. Okay, let's try them out. I like the size of them. Those are definitely a good size. So I'm going to share this with my husband. They're definitely a good size, so they taste really good. They're not as moist as normally as I prefer my cookies, so I'm going to put them in another container, and hopefully they can soften up just a little bit. I'm thinking it's the box, but these were really good. You could taste the salt. It's a great combination. So if you try those, let us know your feedback in the comments below. I can't believe they're gluten-free. Now, the fig and honey bread. This is a little loaf of bread for $4.99, made in France. So it says you could heat it up, but I'm just going to try it as is. That would be great on a charcuterie board. And here's a close-up of the nutrition facts.
it smells really good. You can see the little freshness seal. Once it's open, you definitely want to use it within about 24, maybe 48 hours at the most. Oh, it looks beautiful. I love it when you can see the figs inside. Because sometimes I've, I've tried bread before and it said it had figs. I couldn't find any figs. It wasn't here at Trader Joe's. It was another store. But back to this one. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. And it tastes great. I really like this one. And this is before I even heat it up. So I really am enjoying that one. I hope Trader Joe's has that for a while. The Mini Brie Bites. One of my absolute favorites. I'm not a fan of this container, the plastic container. It's so hard to get open and to get the little brie out of there. I prefer this packaging. So I'm definitely going to grab a couple of those. Because I'm just going to share with you right here. It's so much easier to open. But they taste great. These are one of my favorite snacks. These are so good. Yeah, I hope Trader Joe's keeps that packaging. Now, we do have a double cream brie. That course for $4.50. This is the cheese log. We are going to definitely try this one out. I love cheese. So, of course, brie is one of my top favorites. We have our Trader Joe's the Cracker Assortment. Kind of share some of the ingredients. Well, we know the ingredients, but the nutrition facts. So the rind, you can eat this one. And that's really up to you what your preference is. So I'm just going to kind of slice it up. And let's try it on its own. You could pour like apricot or any kind of like jam over it or honey with nuts. There's so many great ways to have brie. It's really good. I'm gonna grab a cracker. It's not as fancy as the box, but it's really good. Yeah, this is a good one. And I like it. You just slice it up. Easy to eat. You can heat it up if you want to. You can add, again, jam or jelly, whatever your favorite is. Now, we have the fresh mozzarella with the prosciutto. I don't know if the packaging is new, but I don't remember seeing this before. $4.99. Now, I do love mozzarella and prosciutto. So I'm just going to assume this is good, but I'm going to try it anyways. This is another great item for a charcuterie board. Especially this time of year, if you're having gatherings. And it's really good. Definitely. Definitely worth picking up. All right, Trader Joe's always has a great selection of butters, vegan butter, organic, grass-fed, and we have a new one now, brown sugar and maple syrup. So of course, this is on the sweeter side for $2.99. So we are definitely trying this one. It sounds delicious. the packaging is not my favorite so I got a container to place it in kind of sharing some of the nutrition facts for you and I grabbed the fig and honey bread it was the closest I have <laughs> but it's really good I really do like this there's so many different items that you could use this so I'm going to place this back in the refrigerator, but yeah, that's really a good one. Definitely worth picking up. The fish nuggets. Now I do like these. My family and I do. They're small, but it's just an easy meal if you want fish and chips. It's only $5.99. And for the three of us, we do cook the whole box. But they got a great little selection here. Now, I don't think I've seen this one before, the teriyaki chicken bowl. I love teriyaki chicken bowls. I make them a lot at home. It's really simple, but this one, all you have to do is heat it up. Now, I would love to try this one. Unfortunately, it's a microwave only, and I do not own a microwave, and that's just my preference. 
But if you have tried this, let us know your feedback in the comments below. Of course, any of the items we've shared today, $4.80. Here is my little haul. And everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me. I do appreciate your time and for watching. Take care. And as always, I will talk to you later.